with a couple of trips away, it's been a little while since we last looked at Marysville. In mid-October, work was taking place to complete the ramp. Preparations were well in hand to complete the ramp towers and their lifting structures. This is engineering on a large scale, but by the end of the month, much of the work had been completed. A visit this week showed the lifting structures almost completely in place, although minor adjustments are taking place. Work was also evident on the passenger gangway that will take pedestrian passengers aboard the ferry. Beyond the finger dock, on the Dolphin, work was taking place to finalise arrangements that will ensure the security of the ferry alongside. In October, the area up beside the village and the main road was still undergoing preparatory work and the frame of what is like to be an information sign had appeared. By the end of the month, pavement marking had been completed, turf and conifers had been planted in that corner. Some work was evident on security lights and cameras. More recently, work has been taking place to finalise the power connections for the site. In October, coping stones were still being laid on the wall surrounding the utility building. But the situation has advanced significantly since then. It's also pretty clear that the passenger terminal is almost ready to accept guests. The presence of these large, empty cable drums on dockside is interesting, but it doesn't seem to have anything to do with this work involving a diver over the east side of the wall. If you know what was going on, please feel free to share in the comments. And in the meantime, as we approach the dock and watch the Wolf Islander 4 heading off to allow the Wolf Islander 3 to undergo an engine change, I'd ask you to consider subscribing and thank you for watching.